Hello, I'm so excited today because we are going to be playing Doraemon Story of Seasons. And this is going to be a great experience, hopefully. I'm super excited because I'm going to try a new game today. And, um, yeah, so far I just look at this um, screen. It looks super beautiful. I can already tell that it has like the watercolors, like watercolor effect. And it looks, looks really pretty. I like this desk. And yeah, let's just go ahead and start playing. I'm so excited for this game because I it was on my list of things to play, but it was $50. So I was like, I might need to just save up maybe. But I mean, okay, yeah. The reason why I got it, and this is so exciting. Um, it was on sale, so it was $20. So that's really good. Um, yeah. And we're gonna go ahead and just start playing. I'm gonna make sure that all this is, like, correct. Okay. So. <gasps> Ooh! I changed it to... I have to change it to English. Alright. And, oh, my dog wants to get up. Um, so, let's just go to graphics and yeah i think everything's good and button settings yeah i'm good with this keyboard controls what is this gamepad okay I feel like this is all good. Um, let's just go ahead and start the game. And let the games begin. You must agree to the- okay. I don't like how my mouse is like going so slow. Oh, putting feed in the chicken coop. Oh my goodness, look at this. I love this art already. That was the main thing that drew me to this game. And just like, just a nice like farming game um give me that nice like animal crossing feel but different because i'm definitely looking for another game to play so yeah let's just wait for this to load and oh my goodness oh hey doraemon oh i have to yeah what's up buddy I can nap here until the cows or sheep come home. Let's stay. Don't be crazy. We've got to head back. But I want to sleep more. Just a little more. No be. No be. Ooh. Just 10 more minutes. Oh yeah. Whoa. Guess I dozed off while I, while thinking of my summer project. It's summer down now. Glad mom didn't find out. Okay, got to think up a storm this time. Okay. Hmm. Your summer project. You're awake? It's a miracle. Uh, why are you making a weird face? I'm not. I'm just thinking really hard about something. So, basically, you're drawing a complete blank? Excuse me, I was just brainstorming an amazing summer project idea. Whoa, sorry bud. Never even crossed my mind as a possibility. Honestly, I feel like I'm giving Doraemon such a, like, serious voice. Like, a grown man voice. Like, come on. Rude. It's okay. I'll leave Rack that brain and think up a real winner. I'm gonna make him sound, like, not as serious. Like a man. Like a grown man. 
He makes it sound like I don't have a creative bone in my body. Nobi. Uh, I can't think of anything. Maybe a nap will get my noggin going. Oh my god, noggin. Your noggin. That place in my dreams seemed super relaxing. I want to go for real. Okay, so that wasn't a real. That was just a dream that they were just laying in the grass. That definitely looked really relaxing. Oh, Nobi. I love this music. It's so cute. Okay, Nobi's mom. Finished with your homework, Nobi? Oh, girl, I gave her I gave her the man's voice. I got to change her voice. Finished with your homework, Nobi? Oh my god, no. Oh, Nobi is sleeping. Nobi! Earth to Nobi! Yes? Enough napping. You have homework to do. I was just doing it a second ago. No excuses, young man. Okay, fine. I'll just have to make the best summer project ever. What is a summer project? Like, what do you need to do? Summer project? Like, for school? Are they asking you? What are they asking you to do? Nobi! I literally love this music, like, so much. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I set the bar pretty high there. What now? Hmm. What's this? Ooh, what is that? Never seen a spiral seed like this before. Could it be a new species? I know. I want to let the the voices like I want him. You can. I want you guys to hear the voice. I know. I'll grow the seed for my project, dude. That would be like amazing. Look at that seed. Like I've never seen anything like that. If you grow that for your project, that would be great. I bet that the the project is a research project, like a science experiment, so that, that would be perfect. Nobi? Oh, hey, Doraemon. Dude, that plant, like, yeah, plant it. Let's see what happens. Ooh. And now we'll just enjoy this, like, literal, we're watching a movie like, right now. <laughs> oh my god, a mountain. Planting it. Cutest music ever. Oh my god, it's already growing. What the? A door? Whoa. 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 Okay. Magical tree from Pixie Hollow. Whoa, they're flying. Oh my gosh. What? And now they're here? Now they're here. Well, it seems like that's literally the place. The monkeys. Look at the monkeys. Yawn. Boy, could I use a good scratch behind the ears. Oh, 
What's going on? Oh. Hello? Monkeys? <gasps> Monkeys. <gasps> what? Hey, wait up. I love the watercolor look. It is so magical. And now the friends are here. Ow, that smarts. Ow, that smarts? Ow, that smart. What does that mean? Y'all okay? Barely. His name is Sneech. Sue. That storm was unbelievable. Definitely. The craziest I've ever seen. Big G. Seems like it kind of brought us all along for the ride. So it was literally a storm. Nobi, are you okay? Yeah, Nobi, you're literally over there. On. Are you like, okay, dude? Yawn, 10 more minutes. Oh, he's sleeping. Nobi! He literally woke up and he's now in his dream. But in real life, I think. Where are we? It seems like the storm brought us here. Well, I don't know where they are. Never seen a tree that honking big in any local park, that's for sure. Yeah, that is really big. It looks like a mountain. That's the plant that you planted, Nobi. Thanks to you, Nobi, we're here. Are we going to be able to go home? I have no idea where that even is. Like, I don't even know how you guys are going to go back. No. Mommy! Wow. No belly aching. Whoa. Oh. Owie. Hmm. Hey, where's Doraemon? Now that... Now that you mention it, You don't think he abandoned us here, do you? He would never do something like that. He must be around here somewhere. Let's look for him. Okay. Yeah, where did he go? Wah!
Doraemon, where were you? Whoa, oh my god. An animal grabbed my gadgets and took off running. Oh, those are the monkeys. Those monkeys. I went after it, but then this huge bear appeared and... A bear. That sounds awful. Are you okay? I'm fine, but... But your gadgets got stolen. You still have something that'll get us home, right? Oh my gosh, dude. Let's see. Yeah, basically everything fell out. So how are you gonna get back home? Gah! The- The anywhere door! It's gone! Wow, that's how you guys got here. Kind of. I think that's what happened. Like a door appeared? Hmm, something tells me we're gonna be here a while. Say it- Say it ain't so. It'd be nice if we at least knew where we were. I don't recognize this place at all. Maybe the storm brought brought us to some country super far away. That's one possibility, but that storm It might have been a wrinkle in time and space. Oh my gosh. Time traveling? Seriously. It's possible we've been deposited in a different time period. What is going on? Hold on. Hold on now, sure that was one cuckoo banana storm back there. But how can a patch of rough weather teleport us through time? I caught a glimpse of something. Something odd when we got swept up. Something tells me that that was a time hole back there. Does that mean we're never making it back? Never making it back? What about your time belt? That can take us through time, right? Hate to say it, but the time belt's out for repairs. We're doomed. What do we do? Well, for now, let's see where we are. Right. Sitting around won't get us anywhere. Are you sure it's okay to wander around here? What other choice do we have? Come on. Alright, so they're gonna go explore. And I'm very sorry if you guys are kind of like bored right now because it is the story like starting off like it's not going to be the game and honestly that was like the biggest complaint that people had for this game was that the intro was like so ridiculously long so it was like yeah i'm gonna just say sorry for that um but after this is done and we get to actually play hopefully you guys will find that more entertaining or hopefully you guys are enjoying the story i'm sorry if it's going to be a little bit long you know that's the biggest complaint that this game had is the intro 
Hmm, don't think I've ever seen a postcard of this place before. Wait, I hear water. Literally, this is a coconut thing, I think. Me too, over there, maybe. I like the sign, cute little signpost. Oh my goodness, the water looks so good. Super cute. Waterfall, wow. Whoa, would you look at the size of that waterfall? Between that waterfall and the huge tree, I'm, well, I'm truly stumped. Let's walk a little farther. Better than twiddling our thumbs, I suppose. Oh my goodness. This is like the farm. This is a town. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little cottages. It's so cottage core. Oh my god. <laughs> cottage core coming back. Let's go. What a lovely little town. It is so beautiful. I love this so much. Maybe someone there can help. Let's hit it up. Dude, this town is such a cute little town, dude. I really think we should exercise a little more caution here, guys. Wow, so beautiful. Look at all this the flowers. Cute little benches, barrels. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god, turnips right there? I see a turnip. Oh my goodness, a farmer. I see a farmer. I think. Villager. I think I see a villager. Huh. Whoa, who do we have here? Ella Ifcha Tmik. What is this? Ella Kokot? I don't understand a word you're saying. Is it me or does it does he seem kind of freaked out? If you suddenly ran into a bunch of strangers, wouldn't you be surprised too? Got a translation gummy, Doraemon? Eon Reki. Give me a sec. Hurry! Found it. Translation gummy! What is this? How do you use it? Quick, we gotta make him eat it. Oh wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Let's see. <clears throat> Where'd you guys come from? Who are you? Wow, it worked. I've never seen you around here before. Great, we can understand each other now. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me your names? Oh, I'm Nobi. Nobi Nobi. A huge storm brought us here, I think. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet you. I'm Takeshi, but you can call me Big G. Sneech Honikawa. That's pl the pleasure's all mine. And I'm Doraemon. You got sucked into a huge storm? Wow. My name's Harmon, and I live over at that farm over yonder. This farm is where you live? I love it. You say you're all stranded here, right? If you're in that much of a bind, that how about you stay at the farm? Really? That's a lot to offer a bunch of strangers. You sure? Yep. It's just me and my granny, so don't you worry. Go on in. Wow, we're re wow, we really owe you one, Harmon. Thanks. Okay, well that that's really nice. Harmon is gonna let us stay in his beautiful farm. I can't wait to see inside. Like I want to go inside the house already. Oh my goodness, here it is. Well, this is the place. Welcome to my humble slice of paradise. Very cute. Oh my gosh. Look at the cute grandma. Some new friends of yours, dear. Look at her little, um, cane. Nice to meet you, ma'am. My name's Nobi Nobi. Doraemon here. Sue, nice to meet you. I'm Takeshi Goda. 
Sneech Honekawa. Such polite kids, my name is Robbie. Nobi says a huge storm blew them here. Well, they wouldn't be the first, seriously? Huh? Granny says stuff like that. S Granny says stuff like that sometimes. Don't worry about it. No, we literally need Granny's help. Come on. Right. Do other people live in this town? Yep, plenty of folks live in Natura. Natura, Natura. It's a bit on the cozy side, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Wow. It's almost nighttime. I'd better go water the fields. Look at the cute little kitchen. Oh. Hard to believe a storm would deliver a bunch of kids to our doorstep. Do you know what happened to us, ma'am? The storms come and go, bringing people and carrying them away. Jeez, what? That's not like any storm I've ever heard of. No need to fret. You have the elder tree's protection. Elder tree? What do you mean? That big tree protects our town, so no need to worry. It's safe here. Really? Well, that's a relief. We'd better brainstorm a way to get back home in the meantime. Darn tootin, tootin, got any ideas, Nobi? Find gadgets, see where we are. I don't think we're gonna find the gadgets, so I'm just gonna see, see where we are. It's gonna be too hard to find those things. Maybe we should try and figure out where we are. That's like the main thing that you should do, I think. Agreed, we can figure out what comes next after that. Good call. Let's get exploring. Hold on now. Why am I the only one freaking out here? Gosh, then why don't you come up with something? Hey, I just... Now, now. No fighting, kiddos. Sorry, Ravi. The goddess isn't much of a fan of conflict, you see. What goddess? The goddess? What's she talking about? This town, this town has a goddess of salvation. She protects the elder tree. Is that the tree we saw when we first woke up? There wasn't anyone there at the time though. Talking about the goddess again, Granny? Harmon is back. Do you know what she's talking about, Harmon? It's just some fairy tale she made up. I don't know, Harmon, you know. It's getting late. If you like to stay here, feel free, everyone. You sure? We don't have any spare rooms, so it might be a little tight. That okay? Tight is better than nothing at all. Thanks! Nice. Sure, why don't you come share a bed with me? Oh my god, seriously? Oh, sure, thank you. But first, I bet all, you, all your little tummies are rumbling for dinner. Now that you mention it. Oh, ho, oh, let me fix something up for you then. I can help. Thank you, dear. Wow. <laughs> Very nice kids. The following day. Alright. I'm gonna drink some water. Good morning. Morning. Hey, why wasn't Harmon around when I woke up? Harmon? Oh, that boy's already out and about. Back already, dear. Oh, who's this? Oh, and you brought the mayor with you. Good morning, Gram or Yam? Yam? I think it's Yam. I'm not sure. Yes, good morning, Ravi. Ravi. So, you must be the children who showed up yesterday, hmm. This is our town's mayor, Yam. Your mayor? The one and only, I'm here to lay down some of our local laws. 
What sort of laws? The most important one is that all children are required to work. Oh my gosh. All children are required to work. <laughs> what? But that's child labor. That's the way we do things. Even Harmon here helps out on the farm. Come on now, Ram. Yam, oh my god. Yam, these children won't be staying here forever. Surely you can't you can bend the rules just this once. Hmm. I hear you, Ravi, but Yum. Fine, so be it. I'll let it slide if Ravi insists. But if I catch you twiddling your thumbs, I'll put you to work. Honestly, I really want to work. I really want to be a farmer. So let's go. Let's get to work. Let's go get the crops ready. Why should we have to help out around here? Oh, you don't need to. Don't worry. But Harmon still does, right? My family has always run this farm, and Granny can't do it all alone. I don't want to drag you all into our problems, though. Still, if we're stuck here a while, maybe we ought to lend a hand. Oh my gosh, yes, it would be the nice thing to do, because come on, you can't live rent-free. You gotta give something. He's right. Plus, I want to help. Me too. Never thought I'd say this, but I think I agree with you, Nobi. All of Doraemon's gadgets are still missing anyway. Sorry to let you down, guys. Let's go check out the rest of the town. Yes, please. Good idea. We should. Yes. I'll fill everyone in. Then you can make your rounds after breakfast. Thanks, Harmon. Let's nosh and head out then. Yeah. Alright, so we are going to work on the farms. I really want to. Oh my god, the town. Alright, let's have a look around. Hold on, first let me tell you about West Natura. What do you mean by West? It's simple. I'm trying to give everyone a different voice so that you can, like, I don't know. So that you can differ differentiate. Differentiate. Girl, look at this. It's a water pump. From, not from Animal Crossing, but yeah. It literally looks like it. Look at these turnips. And this barrel. Harmon. This town is split down the middle into two halves. My house is here in West Natura. There are two other shops around here. What's this? What's this? First is the chicken shop. Ooh, chicken. I bet that's a pretty lively spot. Yeah, the chickens wake me up every morning. Oh my, that'd be really bad. If that happened. Oh my god, the cute little cows. Oh my gosh. Next is the livestock store. Ooh, what kind of animals do they have there? Sheep and cows, they've got tons. And the shop is famous for having the happiest animals around. Those cute cows. I love the cows. I literally want all of them. Give it to me. I guess we should start by introducing ourselves at the chicken shop then. A clucking good idea, buddy. First, use A, W, S, D. Yeah, okay. To move. Press Alt to walk. Okay. Alt to walk. Okay. Walk. Okay, can we test it out? Okay. Alt. A, W, S, D. Alt. Wait. Let's see. Okay. You can also use the arrows to face different directions. Okay. To walk in different directions. If you want to get a wide view of, our, of an area, use L to go back 
use O. L and O. I'll be waiting outside the chicken shop, so come talk to me when you're ready. Alright, let's go ahead and move. Dude, is the intro already done? Alright, so let's just try to move. Yeah, got moving. We're moving. How do you walk? Alt to walk? I'm already walking. Okay, and let's do L to get, yeah, bigger view. Super cute. And O to go like this. I'm going to go ahead and do this. That's good. And that's all we had to do. Face direction. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the chicken. Chicken store. Um... Let's go ahead. This is a livestock store. We're going to have to go up. The town looks super beautiful already. Um, chickens. Beautiful. I'm here. Okay, talk. Oh my god. This, just the beautiful house. Like, look at this cute little area here. Wow. Cute. So cute. Helen, welcome. Hello. Hey, ya. Goodness, I don't think we've had the pleasure. Are you lost? No, ma'am. We're new to town and looking for a place to work. Oh, I heard about you boys from Harmon. So you must be Nobi and you're Dodaimon, right? My name's Helen and I run the chicken shop. So amazing. Okay. Say... Would you happen to need the help of a strapping young lad and a blue cat around here? We'd love to be of assistance. Hmm, there are definitely loads of things I need done. I'm back. Huh, who are you two? These are the kids Harmon was talking about. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I'm Henson. And that's my mom. It's nice to meet you. I'm looking for a place I could work in town right now. Is that so? Huh. But our store already has a bunch of people helping. Isn't it just the two of you? Three, actually. I've got another more boisterous, idiotic son. Oh. Cooper, I told you, when you come home, you greet us, wash your hands, and gargle. Didn't I? What is gargle? I'll gargle when I'm six feet under. Anyway, hi, I'm back. We've got visitors. Say hi to the new kids in town. New kids, huh? Harmon was talking about them, remember? This is Nobi, and this is Dodaimon. Oh, that he did. Hey, I'm Cooper. You guys like bugs? No. Huh? Bugs? Yeah, I like them. Me too. Hmm, then I guess we can be friends. Later. I love this couch. Hey, Cooper, wait. I swear. As you can see, I have two kids, so I think I've got things covered around here. I see. Makes sense. Sorry, boys, but if there's anything you want to know about chickens, come back and see me. But, but there aren't many people who have chickens around here. Ha ha ha. True enough, my son. True enough. Anyway, good luck on the job hunt. Thanks. We'll be on our way then. See you later. Ta ta for now. What is ta ta? Yeah. See ya. Well, they can't work at the chicken coop. I wonder if they're gonna... Yeah. Go to the livestock store. Next shop. The livestock store. This way. Alright. Let's go. Can we literally just follow him? Let's go! Okay. Well. I'm, I wonder if they're gonna get a job at the livestock. Or are they gonna literally just not have a job are they gonna work with the granny i'm not sure hmm 
Hmm, hello. This store isn't open quite yet. Though I suppose I am in charge of business hours, huh? Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm actually... Oh, you're the kids who blew in with that storm, right? Nobi and Doraemon. Look at the sheep. That is so cute. It just came running. Yes, that's us. Must have been awful getting sucked into a storm like that. You've got to be careful in bad weather. We'll, sh we'll be sure to avoid doing so in the future. I've got to say, it doesn't feel so good being scolded by a kid half my age. So, you run the livestock store? Right you are. We take care of cattle and sheep here. I'm Rem. I... I help take care of the animals with my grandma. Aries and Grandpa Taurus. Aries and Taurus? Whoa, a little kid like you helps them out with such an important job? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm super good with animals, you see? Our dear Rem is quite the clever clever girl. Hee hee hee. So, where's that grandpa you mentioned? Ah. He's still asleep. Gee whiz, Grandpa. Wake up. Whoa, what's all the commotion about? He is sleeping while standing up. Nobi and Doraemon came over. What? Nobi and Doraemon? Was that... What? <laughs> Grandpa Harmon mentioned them before. The kids who got sucked into the storm, remember? And who is this Harmon person? Ah ha ha ha. Oh, you're horrible, dear. Say, um, would you mind letting us help out around the livestock store? I wonder if they're gonna say yes. Huh? You two want to help out around here? Yeah, we're gonna be in town for a while, so we figured we should pitch in while we're here. That's awful nice of you, but... Hmm, you need a lot of muscle to do this kind of work. Will you be... Will you two be able to handle it? I wouldn't bet so much as my top row of teeth in a, on it. The two of them don't look very reliable. What? But doesn't... But Rem does it, and she's just a little kid. Plus, you and Ares are getting pretty old. Whoa. <laughs> what the? Why would you say that? Yeah, we can help you guys. No sweat. I know. Why don't we let the animals decide? Aha, now that's a splendid idea. Let's do it. How do they decide? Tell me. Tell me how. Hmm. That'll do. Have the animals decide? Yeah, come this way. Oh my god, the cows and the sheep, honestly, they're all cute. Whoa, there's so many of them. Everyone, this is Nobi, and that's Doraemon next to him. They're new in town, and they want to help out at the livestock store. What do you guys think? Whoa. What's going on? Please, I'm too young to be an animal's dinner. Hee <laughs> hee, don't worry. They're just sizing you guys up. The animals. Wah. The animals know. Huh. It's over already? Well, what did you all think? Hmm, I see. How'd they do? The animals said that since the two of them just got here, the idea makes them a bit uneasy. They said they wouldn't mind them doing it after they got to know them better, though. Rah. So, what should we do? They just said, silly, you have to get closer to them first. Okay, so go play with the animals. Yeah, let's do that. In the meantime, Nobi... Oh yeah, let's do that in the meantime, Nobi. Yeah, guess we should look for another place to work for now. Sorry. No worries, see you later. Later. 
Yeah, see ya. Come back soon. Watch your names. Okay. Nobi and Doraemon, dear. Come back anytime. Well, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna literally work at their farm. At Harmon's farm. Because there's no one else. So, they can help out Harmon with the farm. How to go? Find some place that'll let you pitch in. I want to find something cooler. Not that any job is going to be as cool as yours truly. It'd be great if I could get a job that let me style that that'll let me style on everyone. Hehe. <laughs> hmm. Well, then I guess we'd better see what East Natura has to offer. Okay, we still haven't gone to East Natura, so let's see. I thought they were going to end up working for Harmon, but it's this way. Ooh. Wow. There's a lot. Oh my gosh. Look at this cute house. Oh my god. Look at that cute house. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. There's so much over here. Literally super cute. Behold, East Natura. Hold on. Okay. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look at the fountain. Whoa, talk about ginormous. It is really big. So cute. Right. Right you are. There are way more shops here than in West Natura. Should I say Natura or Natura? I think Natura, I guess. Natura. This house is so cute. First up, we have the general store. Okay. What do they sell? Crops, seeds, fertilizer, and other agricultural necessities. I come by here pretty often. What is this, a, a cafe or something? Next is the restaurant. Ooh, it's a restaurant. If you catch an appetizing smell wafting through the air, Chances are it's coming from here. But most people in town tend to dine in at home, so they don't get a ton of customers. Well, that sucks. And what's this? The garden shop or something? What is this? Flower shop? I don't know. Oh, it's a clinic. Next up, the clinic. It's a relief to know there's some place to go if we get sick or injured. Incidentally, it's worth noting that the doctor here is a bit strange. Well, anyway, I'm sure you'll find out in due time. The doctor is weird? Okay. Lastly, the smithy. A smithy? That sounds awesome. I suppose it does. If you're looking for a job that requires strength, this would be the place. I would love to work at the general store. Alright, let's have a look around. Yeah. First, let's, ho let's head over to the general store. Yes. This is it, right here. Come talk to me when you want to check it out. Alright. Ooh. Ow. You okay, Nobi? Whoops, my bad. Huh? Who are you guys? Oh, I'm Nobi. Nobi. You can call me Nobi for short, and this is Doraemon. Dude, they're literally introducing them, like, a million times. Dude, we get it. Oh, so you're the kids Harmon was talking about. You just came from his place, right? Yes, sir, and you are. I'm Mark. I run the general store. And who's this? Hun, is someone here? Jenny. Yes, indeed.
Oh, and who might you two be? Nobi and Dodaiman, apparently. Harmon was talking about them, remember? Oh, it's nice to put faces to your names. I'm Jenny, co-owner of the General Store. Nice to meet you. What he said. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we should probably introduce Gemma too. Who's that? Our daughter. Oh, you have a daughter? Gemma, come over here, dear. Yes? What's going on, Mom? These kids are just arriving in town. Make sure you play nice with them, okay? Oh, cool. I'm Gemma. I help out with around the general store. I'm Nobi Nobi, but you can call me Nobi. Dude, again, I'm telling you, they are introducing themselves like a million times. And I'm Dodaiman. Dude, oh my god. Harmon was talking about the one staying with him. Whoa, they're staying with Harmon? You guys long lost cousins or something? Pen pals? He just helped us out, that's all. And now we're friends. Wow, a friend of Harmon's is a friend of mine. Nice to meet ya. Um, by the way, we're looking for a place where we could help with work. Really? Now? Hmm. Our place is already has... Our place already has three people working here, though. Though, Sorry to burst your bubble, but we've definitely got enough hands as it is. Um, okay. I should have known. Guess we just gotta check out some other places then. Good luck, guys. Thanks. See you later. Later. Yeah. And that's my cue to leave as well. Again? Mark, we've been over this. Bye, see you guys later. Dude, what is Mark doing? Oh, is Mark headed off somewhere? He is always headed off somewhere. Anyway, good luck finding a place to work. Until next time, boys. Yeah, bye for now. All right, let me show you the restaurant next. This way. I want to see the restaurant. Let's get it. All right, let's go. Oh, that's the general store. <laughs> the restaurant. Oh, keep on doing that. All right. Sneech, shouldn't you be working with everyone instead of picking out on yummy looking food? Okay, let's eat together, everyone. All right. This is a cute store as well. Oh ho, you guys must be the newcomers. Harmon filled me in. Nobi and Dodaiman, right? The name's Cafet. <laughs> Cafet. You guys in the mood for a little snack rooney Boy am I. Thanks, Cafet. I'm not about to turn a gift meal away from my mouth. Let's see what he's gonna make for you guys. Phew. I couldn't eat another bite. Done already? Well, we can't have your leftovers going to waste. Huh? What about us? Who is this? Hun, what did I say about overeating? Oh. Ah, caught in the act. Sorry about that, you three. This... Louts 
always offering folks free meals only to swoop in like a vulture on their leftovers. But I hadn't had, but I hadn't so much as taken a nibble yet. Oh my god, leftovers, dude. <laughs> Same. Huh, wait, have you, have we met before? Are you guys, are you kids the, are you the kids that Harmon was talking about? I'm Aria. My husband and I run this restaurant together. Uh, um, Aria, would you mind if I start pitching in with your work around here? Why would you do that? You see, we got sucked into this crazy storm and wound up here. We heard it's a rule here that all kids have to help with work, so I figured I'd do my part. You poor thing, I can't imagine what you've been through. But what drew you to the restaurant? I want to work with someone responsible like you, Aria. Plus, Cafet's cooking is gourmet. I don't exactly think I've got my head screwed on as tightly as you seem to think. Oh? No, you definitely do. Was my cooking that good? Absolutely, I've had fruit, food from all over the world, including all sorts of high-class meals. But I think this is the first time I've had something that really knocked my socks off. Oh, stop. I'll blush. <laughs> I'm sorry about this long intro. It is very long, to be honest. Like, I'm ready to just start. It's literally been so long. You guys look like you've been through the ringer, so why not? So why not? What you say, dear? Sure, you're welcome to a seat at our table, Sneech. Thanks so much. I won't lay down. Wait, are we gonna work here or is Sneech gonna work here? Oh, speaking of which, I'm looking for someone that- somewhere that I might be able to help. Me too. I'm afraid we don't have room to take all of you in. Aw, oh, man. Sorry guys, didn't mean to pull the tablecloth right out from under you. I'm sure you guys will find another shop to work with though. I'm rooting for you. Hee <laughs> hee. That Sneech sure does, does care for his friends. <laughs> it's got me all teary eyed. He always gets things his way. There's nothing we can do about that, Nobi. We won't. Why don't we focus on looking for somewhere else? I suppose you're right. Alrighty, then. See you guys later. Feel free to come back for some food anytime. We'll be waiting to see you again. Okay. All right, next on our tour is the clinic. This way. Dude, the doctor works there. Let's not go to them. The creepy doctor. What is this? Q&E, what is Q&E? Q&E. <gasps> what? This is an inventory, I think. Like the inventory, for, like if we pick things up. Okay. I'm not... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think that's like our backpack or something. But I'm gonna go ahead and look to the clinic. Oh my. Oh my god. Why does it, why does it not let you just talk? You have to literally position yourself. Woo! Oh my god, I keep on missing it. Dude. The clinic. I have a favor to ask. Would it be alright if I helped out around here? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at cute little beds. I suppose I don't mind. Hmm. I only hope you can keep up. So, you chose to work here, Sue? Oh, Nobi, Doraemon. I'm in the middle of asking if they'd let me as we speak. So, you're some of the kids who showed up with Sue. Heard about you from Harmon. You with the glasses must be Nobi. 
And the blue raccoon dog must be Doraemon. Blue what now? I'm not a raccoon dog, okay? I'm a robot cat. A cat? You certainly don't look like a cat. Like any cat I've ever seen. Huh? Mind if I pet you a bit? Is this a doctor? You look smooth, but you're fluffy. And those whiskers are as hard as steel. How are you a cat? But you're no raccoon dog either. Not that I've actually seen one. What breed are you anyway? I told you I'm a robot cat. Dr. Regis, Regis. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God, this intro is so long, dude. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry that you have to go through this. Yeah, it is quite long. Ha, uh -huh. I'm, ahem, I'm Dr. Regis, Regis, and I practice medicine here. Come see me if you ever get injured, yeah? Okay. And I'm the clinic's nurse, Serena. Say, Sue, so we won't hold it against you if you want to find somewhere else to work. I'm with Nobi on this one. Now, now, haha, ha. we'd love to have her. Plus, we have experimental needs to meds to test, right, Serena? You're gonna test medicine on her? That's not good. Shh. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Shady doctors wanting to test medicine. Um, I. I'm kidding. That was a joke. But you're serious about the job? Serious as a heart attack, we are the only clinic in town after all. Us two can only do so much. If I can be of some help, then I would be happy to work here. Then it's settled. Nice to have you, Sue. Thanks so much, I won't let you down. And you too, Serena. Likewise. Hmm, what's got your frock in a bunch, Serena? Nothing. I have some errands I need to run, so I'll be off. I wonder why she looks so angry. Was it something I said? She's usually so friendly. She might just be nervous. Anyway. No need to pay it any mind. Whatever you say. If Sue's gonna work here, I'd love to work here too. Make it three. Nah, we really only need one help around here. Sorry guys. Aw oh, man. Now then, Sue, you can start tomorrow. See you bright and early. Yes, sir. I think I'll have a look around town in the meantime. Want to hang out with me? She can't. You haven't found a place to help out at yet. That's true. Guess I'll go have another look around. Good luck. See you later. Alright. Now, let's go check out the smithy this way. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm really sorry that this intro is so long. I I am so sorry. Um totally get it if you want to skip this episode of like playing this. I don't even know where. Oh yeah, it's probably over here. Um Oh, we can't go. Okay. Um I, yeah, I know. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> the intro is super long and I'm ready to just get into the game. But yeah, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for the next episode, which is like me literally playing the game, hopefully. Um, yeah, but this is like the intro, getting everything started. It's kind of slow, so yeah, sorry about that again. Hello, is anyone home? Hey, Blake, we've got customers. Then why don't you go see them, Dad? 
you talking back, boy? Get, get out there and greet them. Now. Freaking, ugh, oh, fine. Hey, welcome. Hmm, you guys must be the kids Harmon was talking about, Nobi and Doraemon, right? Yes, we've heard this a million times before. I am getting so heated up. Oh <laughs> my god. Just let me play. That's us. Nice to meet ya. A pleasure. Same here. Hey, Dad. Looks like we've got some new folks in town. Huh, who are they? Oh, it's just some runt and a raccoon dog. Oh my god, the raccoon dog again. I don't know if he looks like a raccoon. I think he... Maybe, like, you could get him confused with, like, a bear? Mmm. I'm not sure. I'm not a raccoon dog. I'm Smitty. I run the Smithy here. Kind of a tongue twister, I know. Man, running a Smithy... Sure looks like a cool gig. No, it doesn't actually. It looks actually pretty dangerous. Like, I can't do this. I work here too. Name's Blake. He's only about halfway to becoming a blacksmith, though. Hmm. And I don't plan on being a fully-fledged blacksmith ever. Why, you little brat. Why should I, anyway? Excuse me. I'm looking for a place to work and, um... I wouldn't want to work here, you know. This seems like a toxic environment. I would not want to be here. Do you guys ever find yourself feeling short on manpower around here? Hmm. No. Can't, can't help you out there. What? Why not? With those stick-thin legs and arms of yours, you'd never make it out as a blacksmith. And what about my bodaciously blue bod there's something off about you there you're no good either well there's nothing off about me i mean he does have a point don't i Lynn? you are kind of weird looking there's nothing weird about me you guys are rude well if you ever need anything forged please i mean <laughs> Okay, feel free to drop by. You bet. Thanks. There's something off about you, he says, and with a straight face, no less, grumble. Okay, yeah, I definitely do have a problem with this intro because it's literally just the same thing over and over again. Like, them just asking for a job and literally not finding a job. Like, how, like, when they made this game, they should have, like, thought to themselves like yo this is getting kind of repetitive this is kind of just a little bit yeah it's just they should have cut out a lot of this like a lot of games don't have like a story intro like this like they obviously do but they don't have it like this they could have just like gone through like a tutorial type of thing which i don't even like those but just cut the intro a little bit kind of it's just so repetitive i do not I don't know about this, but hopefully it's like almost done. I don't even know. Huh? Where are Sue and Sneech? They found places to work. <laughs> now we don't even have a job. Oh my god, dude. If I, if it literally just has us go through the whole town and then be rejected, and then at the end it like just reveals, oh yeah, you want to work with us? At, my, at the farm, like, Harmon, like, is, like, saying to them, Oh, you want to work with us? Because if it ends up like that, I'm gonna be like, Dude, yes, like, we can get it. Like, that's the only place. I thought that they were gonna just end up working with Harmon on the farm already. So, I don't know why they had to go through all this. But I don't even know if that's gonna be the end. So, I'm not even sure, really. Oh, that's great news. I know just the place to introduce you guys next to then. Hopefully this is the place. And where's that? This way. Okay, but seriously. Oh, it's the beach. Yeah, but seriously, I just I gotta I gotta clear up some things. I definitely am enjoying the game so far. I just love the 
graphics just looks so beautiful. So I'm, I'm excited about the game, but it's just the intro is really long. Wait, isn't this the beach? Keen eye. Yeah, we've got both the beach and some mountains here. Oh, look at the beach. Oh, I don't want to work there. I definitely do not want to work there. That seems really bad. I don't want to catch fish and it seems not good. But our next stop is this place here. It's the tackle shop. Let's hurry up and check it out. Wait, Nobi. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, 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 yo. This is a tackle shop. Ooh, I love this stove. Wonder what the owner is like. Excuse me. I love this shop. Oh. Sandy, who's here? Who's there? Um, hello. My name is Nobi Nobi. You can call me Nobi. Oh my god, I will literally scream. I can scream. And I'm Doraemon. Yes, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. We know we and Doraemon are... You You're the ones Harmon was talking about. So what's up? You wanna f You wanna fish? No, I don't. This is, a this is a tackle shop, right? It's actually my house, but since I've got all this fishing gear around... Wow, I bet even the most hardcore fishing enthusiasts don't hold a candle to you. Well... If you have any interest in fishing, feel free to come see me anytime. Hey, do you think I could help you out with your work around here? I mean, if it's literally just her, then what is her reason? Like, she needs help, probably. So, I don't know. I don't even want to work here, though. No. Why not? I don't need any help. I'm fine on my own. You never get lonely? Not at all. Are we done here? Yeah. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Okay. Hmm, she certainly is cooler than a cucumber roll. Let's go somewhere else, Nobi. Oh my god, I'm getting so tired of this. I'm really getting tired of this, like, just going to the shops and being rejected. Okay. Now that you mention it, Harmon and Big D aren't here. That's because you always leap before you look. Where'd they go off? Where'd they go off to? For now, let's head back to Harmon's place. Oh my god, let's head back to Harmon's place. Are you serious? Let's head back to Harmon's place. If it, if he's the one who offers us a job in the end, then I'm gonna riot. I will be literally so mad. Oh, there you guys are. Hey, Nobi, we've been waiting for you. What's up? The last shop we're heading to is the carpen carpenter's place. Or at least we're supposed to, but Harmon said we had to wait for you. Two slowpokes. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Wanna get going now then? Are, I already told Big G where it is. So you don't... So why don't the three of you head over there together? Done and done. All right, let's go. Harmon, please save us. The carpenter. Get a load of this place here. Looks like a carpenter's, huh? The, that settles it. I'm going to work here. A job involving some heavy lifting sounds good to me. No, I am not doing this. Hmm, wish I could say the same. Nobi, I agree. Nobi, let's tag along for now. Hmm, yeah, let's. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> Excuse me. The carpenter. I like the little cabin. Is anyone even here? Hello? Of course they are. They're probably in the back. Whoa. Ah, excuse me. 
Um, hi, Carpenter. Make me one, thanks. Oh, what the... <laughs> Pent. Big G, you've gotta introduce yourself first. Duh, I know that. My name is Takesh, Takeshi Gouda. Gouda, the cheese. I'm pretty confident in my stamina. I know who you are. Heard about you from Harmon. Which makes you two Nobi and Doraemon. He does know us. Um, Pent, I want to help out with your carp carpentry work. Please let me be your apprentice. Do as you please. Alright. Um, me too. Me three. No, one apprentice is enough. Oh my god. So, we are going to be working with Harmon, right? That's the end of this? Is that we're just going to be going to Harmon? What do we do? Go check around town some more. I'm going to hang here for a bit. Man, even Big G found a job before I did. Oh well, let's keep it at. Let's keep at it, Nobi. I'm going insane reading this. Like, it's just too much. It's just too much. Just too much. Save me. Save me from this, please save me. You know, I you know, I don't think there's a single place left to help out. I guess maybe there were there were just too many of us. Still, I'm kinda jealous that everyone else found somewhere to work. Don't you have some kind of gadget that could find me a job to do? You think there's really a gadget for everything? Oh come on, you could at least look. I'm telling you, there's no such thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the mayor. Who's causing all this ruckus outside my house? Oh, it's you two. What are you doing here? Well, you see, we've been out looking for a place where we can pitch in. But we've come up empty-handed. You there, the blue one. What were you up to? Oh, I was just uh, looking for the right gadget is all. A likely story. You're coming with me. You're a villain. You're the villain of the story. I'm what now? Oh, cute little seats. Yes, cute little seats. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being there. I love the cute little seats. Doraemon. Okay, so he's gone. Great. <gasps> Look at this house. Man, where did Doraemon get dragged off to? Hmm. You aren't hiding anything else. You aren't hiding anything else. I take it. I take it? Okay, I'm sorry. I think I hear them over there. Better go take a look. Let's go. Wow. His office? Little blue bear, you're stuck with me until I sh till I'm sure you're no menace. Blue what now? I'm not a bear, okay? I'm a robot cat. A cat, huh? All the more suspicious. Okay, dude, I feel like Jodaiman needs to take that hat off because we need to let the ears go. And we need to let the ears... Sh I mean, we need to... <sighs> we need to let the ears show because everyone is confusing you. But I get it. You want to, you know, have a hat on because it's probably hot outside. I don't know. It's your choice. Oh, sorry, Jodaiman. Are you okay, buddy? Look at this bear rug. Dude, what? Nobi, you came to save me. Doraemon here is going to work for me so I can keep an eye on him. You're kidding. What about me then? You can buzz off and find it someplace else. I only need one of you. Oh my god. This is so repetitive. I am so, 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 so sorry. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, pal. Hmm. Well, I would never want to be working with the mayor. That sounds horrible. That sounds actually horrible. What do they all have that I don't? What do people want from me? I'm sick of searching. I'm just gonna head back to Harmon's place. 
if I just, I already know what's gonna happen. I already said this millions of times. We're gonna be working for them, of course. Like, what else do we do? Oh, hey, Nobi, welcome back. Literally, the only person who runs the farm is Harmon. He's a kid. He needs some help. They should have just helped him from the start. Find an- Okay, Ravi. Find- Found a nice place where you can lend a hand, have you? Actually, all my friends found work to do, but I came up short. That's so. Must be rough when you can't- When you can't just help at home like we do. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do now? I don't actually have a clue, dude. You're on your own. Don't fret so much, dear. You'll get wrinkles. Just relax. Look at these huge turnips. Like, they are really big. Hey, do you... Do you do farm work too, Granny Ravi? Ravioli? I sure do. People say I shouldn't, but I can't leave it all to Harmon. Oh my... Oh my... Are you... And I keep telling her to take it easy. You're no spring chicken, Gran. Hey, uh, do you think I might be able to help out around here? <laughs> you, around here. Hmm. Oh, you know what? We've actually got a second farm to tend to. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I get my own farm. You have two? It's too much for the two of us, but you could have at it if you want. Are you sure? Of course I am. It'd be a major help. <clears throat> would it ever? It would mean so much if you could fix it up again. Well, count me in. Wow, me. A real farmer. Come on, I'll show you around. Follow me. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad we got our own farm. I thought it was actually going to be this farm that they share but yeah i get my own farm yes that's awesome so this is a farm i see sticks okay that's the farm cool oh my goodness hey i mean here we are at last Snobi. your new farm wow it's so spacious like space And that house is empty, so you have free reign to use it however you'd like. Wow, sounds like a dream. I love this house. It looks so cute. My very own house? Seriously? It's already furnished with basic everyday essentials like a bed and a shelf. Just make sure you don't sell them. I can only imagine the mess you'd be in if you did. Otherwise, the space is yours to decorate and use as you see fit. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, thanks so much, Harmon. Now then, it's time to Christian, Kristen, 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 Christian, Christian, Kristen, Christian, your new farm with a name that screams Nobi. Oh my god, do I have to name the farm? A new name? Huh? Yep, since you'll be living here, it's only right that you get to decide what to call it. Oh my god, dude. But don't forget that farm will be added to whatever name you give it. Oh my god, dude. Enter a name, Nobi Farm. Oh my god, what farm name? What farm name, dude? What farm name? Cotton Lace? Should I literally be Cotton Lace Farm? Yes, I'm gonna be doing that. Literally, my island on Animal Crossing. <clears throat> it's called Cotton Lace Farm. <laughs> cotton Lace is too long. Should it be Cotton Farm? Cotton Farm, no, because that's literally a cotton farm. Like cotton, like we don't, we don't even, we don't grow cotton here. So should it be lace farm? Lace farm. Lace farm. Lace farm. Lace farm. Lace farm. Farm lace. Lace farm. Lace farm. Oh, dude, I don't know. I actually have a list of names that I have on my phone of things that I like. So I'm going to be looking at that. So, okay. Um, just give me like a few seconds um okay okay i actually really like the name dewey so dewey farm like dewey just a cute little name i don't know dewey dewey let's just i don't know um let's see um 
Mewy. Mewy. Mewy or Dewy? I like Dewy better, actually. Oh, Cloudberry. Oh, yeah, I do like, I like Cloudberry, but it's just such a long name. Yeah, see, you can only have that much. <laughs> Cotton lace doesn't even fit. Okay. Um. Um. <gasps> Maple Farm? Maple Farm? Maple is actually so cute. Margo. Acorn. Acorn Farm. No. Okay. Okay, um. Alright, so we have either Dewey, Dewey or Maple. Dewey Farm, Maple Farm. Dewey Farm. I'm gonna be going with Dewey because I feel like it's versatile. Whatever. I love Dewey. Dewey Farm. That's cute! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah, we got it. Dewey Farm. I guess that's it. Perhaps Dewey. <laughs> Dewey, 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 Dewey. Yes, let's get it. Dewey Farm, huh? That's, now that's a name worth coming home to. Yes, I think that'll do. I think that'll do it for today, Nobi. So I'll be heading home now. Oh, I guess I ought to ask about how to do basic farm work, huh? Ask about farm work. Yes, dude. What? You should ask. I don't know the first thing about farm work. Can you teach me? You bet. Let's head back to my farm and then we can go over the basics. Follow me. Oh my god. I don't know how long this video is going to be. But I guess I'm just going to post it because if anyone wants to know the story... But so long, dude. I'm so sorry. I always, I'm sorry for saying sorry so much. But I'm not even sure if I should post this whole thing. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'll post it. And if you guys want to just skip through this, you know, I don't know. Oh, hey guys, you're back. Did you decide to help out, Nobi? Yup, I'm borrowing some farmland from Harmon to take care of. <laughs> wow, that's incredible, Nobi. Haha. <laughs> Aw, shucks. Harmon's here to teach me how to work a farm. Sounds good. I'll watch. I got the best job out of everyone. I am so lucky. Okay, let the lesson begin. First, let me give you this. Ooh, is that a hoe? What is it? It's a hoe. You can start off by using it to till this brown patch of soil right here. Okay. Find a spot you want to till and press this space bar. Go ahead, try tilling this whole patch. What patch? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Okay. So, I'll just... Wait. Find a brown patch and press this. Okay. When you come to a spot that's tillable, it'll get highlighted in blue. Can you show us how it's done, Harmon? Um, I'll do it. <laughs> I can try. No, that's okay. I'll do it myself. Now we're talking, Nobi. Show me what you got. Go ahead and give it a try. Okay. So we have this. Uh, do we just walk? Okay. Okay, I did it. I did all of this. Ooh, I love how it it sounds. It's really cool. Okay, I did all of it. Nice, you did a wonderful job. This part you just tilled has a ridge in it now. What does that mean? The soil needs a ridge before you can sow seeds in it. Otherwise, they have nowhere to grow. Bingo. Bingo on that note. I'll show you how to plant seeds next. Teach me, farming master. The sooner I can get a crop of watermelons going, the better. Hold up, Nobi. I hate to burst your bubble, but it isn't the right season for watermelons. Hmm? What do you mean, season? Watermelons are a summer crop. If you plant them in any other season, they'll just wither up and die. And be careful, because if the season changes, they'll wither no matter when you planted them. Okay, so the season 
Oh, that's so watermelon. Oh my god. It's spring, so a good crop to plant would be turnips or cabbage. Okay, I'm gonna be doing turnips because I feel like I, I want that better than cabbage. Turnips, turnips would be nice, wouldn't they? Let's go with those. Okay, turnips it is. Right. Then here are some turnip seeds to get you started. Seeds for spring crops are in red bags, so it's easy to remember. Summer crops are green, autumn crops are yellow, and winter crops are blue. Don't forget. I can tell what season a crop is for by the color on the bag. Got it. It's also written in the item description, so make sure to read them. I wonder if I've been recording for an hour because it literally feels so long. Alrighty, let's plant a seed in the soil with the ridge we just made. So, I mean, see the hoe in the lower right slot? Yes, I, yeah, I do. That's the item you're currently carrying. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. And in this case, it's a hoe. To plant a seed, you need to be holding it first. Let's start by swapping the hoe for the seeds. Use Q and E to change items. Okay. All right. All right, so those are turnips. That's it. Now, position yourself in front of the ridge and press space bar to plant the seeds. Okay. Make sure you don't try to plant seeds anywhere but in a ridge. Now, go ahead and give it a shot. Finally, I'm learning how to be a farmer. Um, I forgot. I literally forgot already. Hmm, go up to the ridge you just tilled and press- Oh yeah, okay. Alright, let's go. Okay. I can do it. Okay. Okay. Space bar. Ooh, put the seeds there. Let's do this one. Cool. Very cool. I really like the mechanics. Perfect, perfect, nicely done. I'm surprised to hear that this is your first time. Now you need to water it here. Now, this part I know. I grab the water can, stand in front of the seed I planted, and pour away. Oh, Close, but not quite. There's one more important thing to know about water cans. What would that be? First, make sure you're holding the water can. Okay. Old watering can, I guess I have that one. Look at the watering can the water can in the lower right. Okay. You see that black bar that wasn't there before? Oh, okay. That's the amount of water you've got left in your water can. Go find a place to draw some water farm and use it to replenish your water can. While holding the water can, stand in front of the water source and press space. Okay, I get it. Okay. I'm gonna- oh, there it is. How convenient. Okay. Now, once you've got some water, the bar on the lower right will turn light blue. You see? Yeah, it's full now. That means your watering can is ready for use. Those seeds won't know when what soaked them. I bet you could fill that water can up basically anywhere there's an abundance of water. Yes, okay, I get it. Now that your watering can is full, stand in front of you the seeds you planted and press this. So it's very simple. And that's also what drew me to this game is because I read the reviews and people were like, yeah, such simple mechanics like the old games. Oh my god, it's already starting to grow. Yeah, it's just like so simple and it's just easy to work and I really do need just like a simple game that's just fun. Yeah. Seeds super soaked. 
nicely done. Make sure you water it daily if you want it to grow into a healthy crop. What, every day? That's farming 101, Nobi. If you forgot to water your crops, they'll wither up on you. You think you can handle it? Of course, I'm going to be a farming whiz. You'll see. By watering it every day, your crops will get bigger and bigger until you can harvest them. For turnips, it takes about five days. It takes that long? Of course, farms aren't built in a day, you know. I can't wait to see what kind of crops you'll raise, Nobi. If you're after even higher quality crops, you'll need to use some fertilizer. And where can I find that? The general store stocks it. I've actually got some extra fertilizer right now, so why don't you why don't we test it out? So to use it, you wait, Harmon. Nobi, why don't you reflect upon everything he's taught you so far and try try to do it yourself? Sure. I got this, yep. Just ask. <clears throat> oh yeah. Fertilizer. Okay. Here we go. What will happen? Nothing will happen. Perfect. Nicely done. That's my Nobi. Great job. If you can do this, then I then I can rest easy knowing the farm is in good hands. Till soil, plant an in-season seed, water it, add fertilizer, and vo voila. Top tier crops. Nobi, nobody ever, Nobi? Okay. Nobody ever said farming was easy, but boy, is it ever worth the trouble. You'll see. Okay, I want to see inside my house. I want to go back to my farm. Huh, well, if it ain't, nobody. You find a place to help out yet? Oh, looks like everyone's gone home already. <laughs> looks like I'm gonna be... F I'm gonna be farmer from here on out. What? As in tilling and harvesting and taking care of animals? You? Wonder if you can handle something like that. That's amazing, Nobi. <laughs> Harmon, Doraemon. I'm gonna farm like nobody's ever farmed before. You'll see. That's the spirit, buddy. Is he really up to the job, though? Nobi gets. Nobi here gets bored with stuff pretty quickly. Harmon showed me the ropes. I'll be fine. He even planted some turnips. Yeah, I've just got to spend the next five days taking care of them while they grow. I can't wait to see how they turn out. Oh, that's right. I forgot to teach you about harvesting crops. I guess the fastest way would be to let you harvest some of my own crops as an example. Now nah, there's an idea. Hop to it, pal. Sounds good. Thanks. So, how exactly do I harvest a crop? Stand in front of a fully grown crop and press C. Okay. Let me get these turnips. Alright guys, stand back and be amazed by my farming prowess. Prowess as I harvest these turnips. Okay. Wow. So cool. They're huge. I love how they look right here. That's so cute. Very cool. Oh, what a nice job he did. Well done, Nobi. Haha, <laughs> it's no big deal or anything. Now you can take that crop you harvested and give it to someone as a gift. Oh, I can? Yeah, put the item you want to give them in your hands. Then press C to gift it. How about giving that turnip from earlier to someone as a present? 
You sure? Well, I guess I'll give this to Sue then. I can have it? You sure, Nobi? Of course, anything for you, Sue. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. Give that turnip to Sue. Oh, am I holding? Use Q or E to swap to the turnip, then press C. Okay, Q or E. Oh, it's already there, so C. Okay. All right. This is one way to turn up the dial on our friendship, Nobi. Hee <laughs> hee. And with that, my explanation on how to do farm work is over. Thanks a million. Oh, I should probably give you back those tools you lent me. No need. You're, they're yours now. Really? My very own farm tools? They might be a little rusty, so if you need something nicer, they can fix you up at the smithy. The smithy, huh? Also, you can get seeds at the general store. Got it. You're a real whiz, Harmon. Cool, guess we know where everything's gonna be helping out now. Big G's at the smithy, Sue's at the clinic, the diamonds at Rye, Re at Yams, and I'm at the restaurant. And I'm a newly minted farmhand. <clears throat> I'm glad you each found a place to call your own. Don't be strangers now. Nice to meet you. Oh, that reminds me. Where, Where is everyone staying, anyway? I moved into an abandoned house on the farm. Pence letting me crash at his place. Cafe and area are letting me stay with them. Serena said it was okay for me to stay at her place. Gotcha. And Ram's letting me borrow a spare room. Don't forget your good guest manners, guys. Of course. So I guess they literally just live here now. They don't want to go back home. They're just gonna, you know, forget forget about that for now, and just stay out of random people's houses that they just met today. Right. Then if you need anything, just holler, okay? Thanks, Harmon. Let's call it a, call it a day, everyone. Wonder how much longer I'm gonna have to live this old timey lifestyle. Man, I hope this all blows over soon. Enough complaining, you two. Dude, this has been the longest intro I've ever even had, had to go through. Anyway, I'll be helping out at the clinic starting tomorrow, so I have to go study up. Same here. Me too. Bye for now, Nobi. Please let this be the end of this intro. Okay, see you. Oh, before I forget, there's some really important stuff I need to go over, Nobi. If you still got time, I figured I could give you a rundown on stamina. Uh, literally, uh, I'm gonna, oh my god, I'm gonna listen, I don't want to. Sure, tell me all about it, stamina. Yep, when we do strenuous farm work, there's nothing more important than to be aware of. Okay. Now that you mention it, you do look a little tucked, tuckered out, Nobi. Press M to open the menu. There's a page in there where you can check your stamina. M, okay. You can switch between menu pages. Pressing Q or E, we're on the status page now. Okay, stamina is this one, okay. Yep, looks like your stamina is drained quite a bit. Not that much, honestly. Small wonder, given all your hard work, using tools really puts a strain on your stamina. You know, I was feeling a little bit tired just now. Thanks, your body's way... Oh my god. <laughs> That's your body's way of saying that it's time to refuel with a bite to eat. Such as... Oh, I know. You're welcome to have some of this bread Grandma gave me. Do way really? 
Yep, and you can bake your own if you have a kitchen. Okay. That looks really good. Okay, you can use space to eat any food. Okay. Let's see how it looks. That is so cute. Well, that was filling. So, does the flavor rise to the occasion? Turns out, even plain old veggies taste great when they're homegrown. Glad to hear it. Let's take a look at how you're doing. Okay. Looks like you've restored a healthy chunk of stamina. I feel more energized already. From now on, make sure you get food in your system whenever your energy starts to dip. What if I wait so long that I shoot right past tired, like mega exhausted? If you run out of stamina, you'll collapse and wind up at the clinic. Keep an eye on your condition to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's head back to your farm for now. Okay. Okay, we're finally back here. You've got trees, weeds, rocks all over. Oh, like this one. Yeah, they really get in the way. They sure do. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but how would you feel about cleaning them up for me? You want me to do it? No complaints here. Harmon's been a big help, so we might as well return the favor. Cleaning up will give you more room to grow crops, too. Okay. So we just take the tool, probably. So it bears mentioning that cleaning up requires tools. I'll give you what you need. Yeah. Okay, I don't need to. Yeah, I think I got it, maybe. Okay. That's an axe? Okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh my god, it's... What's that? Ryan set things up so you can ship any items you place in the crate on your farm. So basically you can sell things, I think. To sell any crops you harvest on the farm, you have to ship them. Bring anything you want to ship to the crate and press V. Might as well try it out while Doraemon's here. I'll give you a turnip and you can ship it out. Okay. So like all these games have all this stuff in common. There's always this that you can sell things. And you always have to clean up your farm a bit. So yeah, there's definitely very similarities. Okay, so we need the the hammer okay so oh wait what are we doing no we're gonna ship this out we're not gonna break the rocks okay use q and e to select the turnips and then v oh okay okay Okay. Nice. So this time around, you shipped out a set number of crops. Using V lets you choose how many to ship. If you want to ship crops out in one fell soup, use this. Get a crop. Not picky about how many you're sending out. Okay. And if you make a mistake, just press C to open up the crate. Okay. Yep, that's the turnip I put in. There you go. You can use T to switch between the crate and your backpack. Choose an item with 
this, then use R or T. Okay. Press to move there. Okay. And if I make a mistake, it'll go back to my backpack. I'll pick everything up at 6 p.m., so make sure to have everything ready by then. You'll get money for anything the diamond picks up at 6. And I can use the money I earn to buy seeds and tools for the farm. Okay. Okay. Plants and bugs, too. Okay. Alright, so hopefully this is done already. I think that does it for the basics. Time sure flies when you're talking. Thanks for taking the time to show me the ropes, Harmon. Don't mention it. Let's take a look inside the house while we're at it. Okay, finally we can just go inside the house. It's been so long. Oh my god, this is so cute. It looks super good. Wow, I really am sleeping on wood. That is not good. I literally have wood and then I have a blanket on top. I... oh. Okay. Oh. So that's the chest. Here's the inside. It's empty right now, so feel free to throw some items in. First, use T to shift to your backpack. From here, press space. Okay. Okay. You can also easily move an item by pressing B. You can't move it, but it holds the same stuff the in indoor storage box does. So I figured, hey, might as well check up on my bestest pal in the whole wide world. Oh, hey Harmon, didn't you realize we're here? Yep, I was just explaining a few things about the house. Took a while, but we're pretty much all wrapped up now. Guess I might as well call it a day then. Yeah, just look at the time, I'd better hit the hay soon too. Bedtime already, what kind of nightmare schedule? The farm life ain't easy, huh? If you don't get to bed early, you'll be in for a rough morning. Guess that's just the way it is. Hop into bed, then chop chop. You'll feel totally recharged in the morning. What are you, my mom? Fine. To sleep, face the bed and press space. Hit the hay if you're tired. If you go to bed late, you'll feel tired the next day. Okay, this is so. This is just like Stardew Valley. I better not catch you noodling around in the dark of the night. One more thing, we better make sure to preserve everything you've done on the farm. Press M to open the menu, then switch to the system screen. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this one. 
All right, so just how to save occasionally, I guess. Oh, okay. Do we farm? Okay, so we actually have been playing for an hour, I guess. An hour and seven minutes, okay. Year one, month, spring, day two. All right, we're done. Oh, no. Where is, okay, wait. Okay, we're good. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, we already did that. Okay, we're done. No, 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 no. How do we get out of this? Literally, is this... Oh my gosh, we already did it. All right. Oh my. Oh my gosh, sorry. Make sure to get your beauty rest. Do I make myself clear, pal? Crystal. Okay, the nighty night. Sleep well, guys. You too. Oh my god, is it finally done? Jeez, that was such a long tutorial. I'm gonna go to sleep right now. I'm gonna sleep. And I feel like this is going to be the end of this first day. Yeah. So the first day is done. I guess it's the morning. I kind of want to get get outside and see. Look around a bit. But, okay. Good morning. Morning. Like a log. Gladly to hear it. Wow. What does he want? You'll see. To see where everyone is, press M to open the menu and check the map. Okay, this is the map. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're in the mayor's office for some reason. I brought Nobi, just like you asked. Now, please, release my family. Just a little joke. It's too early for your shenanigans. Good morning. Very well, go ahead and take a look. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay. So this is where you get, like, just the info you need. I guess I don't know when I'm going to be using this, but... Okay, all the crops you collected. Okay, so basically, like, the history of the farm. Oh my gosh. He has a whole second floor? I thought he just said a room, but he has the whole floor to himself. If it's literally like so- oh wait, that's it? Okay, that's actually really nice. That's really cute. Oh my. What?
Oh my gosh. Oh my. Really? Does that actually work in the game or is that just... Okay, so those are the special days. Okay. What is that? Oh, I accepted it. Oh my god, look at the mushrooms. Oh, there it is. Is that really it? I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay, we have seeds, like turnip seeds now. Okay, I'm actually really excited to just go and work on the farm, to be honest. Okay. Alright, so, I don't know, like, I think- Wow. So, this is actually the end of the tutorial. Such a long tutorial. It has- it was just way too long. That is, like, insane. Now we can finally do things, but- Oh yeah, look at this cute little pond. That is so cute. I'm just gonna look around. This is like the whole farm. There's things that we need to repair. And this is another place. I'm just so excited to just finally be able to just walk around. I feel like this is a shed. No. I feel like this is a chicken coop. Yeah, I think it is. And looking over. And this big plot of land is actually the farm. So we'll see how big it is. And I can get water here. And there's another one. There's another one. This is huge. It's actually so big. So we can plant all the stuff. And I want to get this place cleaned up and everything. But that will have to be in another episode of this game. Um, this is just the like tutorial, I guess. It was so long. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to have to say goodbye and come back and work on this farm and actually start getting some things growing and things but this is the crate that we can um sell things and let's check the inventory we have turnip seeds and the tools okay so yeah we are ready to just start working i'm gonna have to end it off here if you like the video please like and subscribe and I also am going to be posting a lot of like vlogs. Um, I filmed one today 
and it's just gonna be like a lot of different videos coming up so just subscribe if you would like to and i'll see you guys in another video and i'm gonna post this whole thing just as um for it to be like if you want to watch the whole thing you can but you could also skip it a lot i feel like the most important thing was to watch like the beginning and then like the end really it was the most important thing because it like taught us how to work everything but i am going to be leaving oh my god look at this guy who is this he's just walking around can i talk to them oh let me okay i thought maybe i should you know get out and soak up in the sun okay so yeah i'm gonna be ending off the video let's just end it off in this nice pond well, goodbye guys. See you guys in another video.